This video is brought to you by the Bradley County Medical Center. Visit BradleyCountyMedicalCenter.com. Hi there, and welcome to Celine River News. Uh, I've got another burn ban update. That's pretty much where we are at the moment with uh, with the, the the weather around uh, South Arkansas. It's just really dry. Um, I'm recording this Wednesday night, October 9th at 9.03 p.m., of course, in the middle of us dealing with this really big dry spell, there's a huge hurricane hitting Florida. So uh, the short distance there between a few states and we've got very, very different conditions going on. Uh, South Arkansas, of course, still suffering from a pretty significant uh, drought. Uh, I want to I want to jump to my screen share here for a second because we've had another uh, burn ban added. Uh, this is, this was posted on the Calhoun County Sheriff's office, uh, Facebook page, but it, uh, apparently as of three 52 today, uh, Calhoun County judge, uh, nut has issued a burn ban for Calhoun County until further notice. Now the city limits of Hampton had already been under a burn ban. This, this officially puts, uh, the entire County. Uh, under a burn ban let's look here at the map really quick um just kind of give you a review of everybody that currently is under a burn ban and i i i'm still expecting probably three or four maybe five or six more burn bans within the next uh day or so i'm actually a little bit surprised right now that uh, that cleveland and drew are not under burn bans but uh dallas county here i'm just going to talk about our coverage area dallas county Washita, Union, Calhoun, and Bradley County, as well as Lincoln and uh, Chico. Now I can't remember if Chico was was under one or not, but Chico uh, County as well has been added. But the kind of the big news tonight is Calhoun County has been added. Lincoln was added yesterday. Uh, Bradley the day before that. Uh, let's look at let's look at the wildfire um, danger at the moment. Uh, the as of yesterday, um, a lot of eastern Arkansas, southeastern Arkansas, was listed as only moderate. It was in that yellow color that you see uh, today. Uh, you can see all of all of South Arkansas almost, uh, except for Arkansas and Phillips County, pretty much uh, now listed as uh, with a high um, high risk for uh, wildfires. And we have had uh, have have had some being battled. Um, in South Central Arkansas in the last day or so. Uh, so you know the big news here again, uh, if we just go ahead go back and look for 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 our readers who are living in uh, Calhoun County, you are now under a burn ban. Uh, that means that you can't you can't do any type of outdoor outdoor fire, whether it be a campfire, whether it's leaf burning, uh, even in a barrel, can't do it. Uh, it's just too big of a risk right now. Uh, so, so these, these, these burn bans are put on by County judges for those who, who don't know how this works. Uh, burn bans are specifically, um, imp implemented, um, uh, by order of, of County judges. Um, now municipalities also have the authority to issue burn bans specifically for their communities. Um, however, uh, the, the, the way the drought is at the moment, I, you're not going to get too too much disagreement, I think, between municipalities and and uh, and counties in terms of um, implementing these burn bans. Dallas, Washita, Calhoun, Bradley, Union, Lincoln, Chico, all under burn bans right now. As of tonight, so far, Cleveland, Drew, and Ashley, you guys are not under a burn ban. But you know, I would still be careful. It's really dry out there, folks, and uh, we don't want to. We don't want to uh, start a wildfire that has to get emergency personnel out there and deal with it. There's enough risk with with cars just driving down the highway can throw a spark off and and something can get started pretty quick. Um, that's going to do it for this update. I will be back if we if I hear anything else tonight. I'll try to post it uh, in a text format. I'll also post the list in text format um, on Celine River News with this video. Do me a big favor, though. I always, I'm uh, always trying to remind folks of this. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe uh, and hit that bell. That bell icon helps uh, make sure that you don't miss anything. But it also gets us up in the search rankings of for South Arkansas news. 
Uh, we cover not just South Arkansas news, but sports as well. A lot of sports content, and we're trying to increase that that output of, the, of both uh, here on our YouTube channel at the moment. Um, you can follow us on Facebook. Our name is currently still Celine River Chronicle on Facebook. We have submitted that name change to Facebook well in advance of our actual name change. And we, I don't know what's going on with Facebook right now, but it is terribly difficult to get anything done. If you have to go through meta staff, uh, I, everything has sort of been turned over, um, I guess to, to departments that are either flooded with work or not, but we're still listed as Celine River Chronicle on, on Facebook unfortunately, but, uh, we are at Celine river news.com is where you can find us. We're also on Twitter. You can check us out there. Uh, not as active on Twitter, but we do use that. That's kind of our breaking news and emergency, uh, posting type spot. Uh, I try to post on there, but there's so many, so much social media, uh, avenues now that, that we're trying to make sure we, 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 we post on our Facebook page regularly just because that's where most of you guys are at the moment. But, um, yeah, once again, please subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you're watching this on Celine River News, head over to our YouTube page. All you have to do, I think, is click on uh, the, the title of this video, and it will send you over to, the, to, to YouTube. So appreciate you watching, and have a great rest of your evening. 